Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. And today I am doing this for my water signs. Yes, 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 water signs. So if you are a Pisces, sun, moon, or rising, something in this reading will be for you. I don't have a plan with how many or which cards I'm going to pull this time. So we will just see what comes out. For my Pisces, please, spirit. Ten of Cups, Four of Swords in Reverse, Two of Pentacles in Reverse, and the Five of Wands. Let's clarify it. These are finally loosening up. I don't know if y'all been with me long enough, but if you remember when these were super new... I was fucking up my finger even trying to shuffle. <laughs> but Spirit, what is the Ten of Cups? The Four of Wands. What is the Four of Swords in reverse, please? The Ten of Pentacles. What is the Two of Pentacles in reverse? The Tower in reverse. Yes, y'all dodged a motherfucking bullet. And you're closing up cycles with both of these tens. And what is the five of wands, please, spirit? Ten of cups again. So everything is going really great for you guys. Let's pull a couple. First, let me make sure I don't drop all these. Y'all can't see it. But I got all my cards on this little ledge next to me. But yes, let's pull a couple oracles for you. And then we'll get all the way into the explanation. candle beside me is going crazy it kind of is throwing me off Ooh. going extra crazy okay and oneness i'm gonna get up and check this real quick Thank you guys for bearing with me. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally burn my fucking house down. <laughs> but for you guys, we started off with this 10 of cups here. As you see, it's a lot of celebrating and just good things going on. You got a genie up there granting your wishes. Um, there's a lot of greenery plus water there. So very well rounded. And it looks like this is coming after a period of a failed relationship or just any type of partnership. A couple people that were coming together and that shit did not work out. But now it's going a lot better. So your advice about whatever is coming along that's going well right now is to pace yourself. Make sure you're literally getting enough physical rest. But you're also being easy with your energy and making sure not everybody has access to you. Because especially things with your home life or your career, they're going to be going much better, much faster than you thought they would. And that is because of this two of pentacles in reverse. You were juggling a lot at once and you finally decided to put something down. Whether it was you had two jobs and you quit one of them. Or if you were dating two people, you let one of them people go. Like This is all about you putting something down that was no longer serving you. You thought it was helping at first, but it turned out to be in the way. And you getting rid of it just really helped you to avoid some type of disaster. Now, there is still some changes that need done and a new foundation laid um, here with this 
five of wands and you see the chameleon so it's letting you know that you're going to have to be adaptable whatever's going to come next isn't going to be easy but again with the ten of cups it will completely be worth it and so i can't remember if i've mentioned it here or on the podcast but i love having these two different decks of cards because they tell the story just a little bit different these are both the ten of cups but like right here you have someone up here that's helping you make all this come together. Here, there's not necessarily another person up in that rainbow. And also here, there's 10 different people with a cup. So it's showing a lot of cooperation. Whereas here, it's just a family and they're celebrating together. But all the cups are on the rainbow. So it's letting you know that the good things are coming from some type of more of a spiritual source. And then also this rainbow is turning into a snake which is telling you to pay attention to your breath it's all about your life force um just as a whole and then here you notice that there is a house in the background and there's just a little bit of water kind of in the middle whereas here the water is in the horizon and there's no background this is showing like endless boundless type deal like if you've ever been to the ocean when you just stand there and look out it just seems like fucking nothing for miles and miles and miles which is borderline true but it's just like a wild experience so this is um showing like a, just a lot more depth of that happiness so yeah i always find it fascinating the subtle differences in the art of two of the same card from different decks because it just helps you get a better picture of what's going on so here it's showing that your reason to celebrate and why everything's picking up is not only because of your own choices but also your spirit team just helping you the fuck out right now and so your two oracle cards first you got the full moon in capricorn letting you know that this is the end of a tough cycle you are coming up at the tail end of again just whatever this was with the four of wands whatever partnership you were in that wasn't working out anymore and then number 42 oneness it excuse me it says look for common humanity and invoke lemurian light so I'm actually going to read that card for you guys because, and I mean, read it like from the actual guidebook, not read it through spirit. So number 42, it's also towards the end of the deck, keeping with that theme of cycles ending. So it says, this card is a reminder that we are all part of the divine. In essence, we are all one huge entity. Source is an ocean of love and we are all droplets of it. Each droplet, even when it's on a journey of individual experiences, remains part of the ocean and seeks ways to return to it. When you choose this card, your unicorn guidance is to look for the common humanity in everyone. Our breath is our connection to source and all humans and animals breathe. Our hearts all beat. We're all born vulnerable and we all look for love and happiness. Whether rich or poor, boss or worker, healthy or sick, we are all source energy seeking to learn. Whatever religion, race, and culture we are experiencing, we are all droplets on our way back to the ocean of love. Hold this in your heart and be compassionate to all. Seek the divine thread that connects us all. Reach out to someone today. A smile, word, or form of connection with a stranger strengthens those bonds. When you have linked with unicorns and they're working through you, the energy of love is even stronger. This accelerates your own journey back to source. Lemurians were a high-frequency force that spread love, light, and healing wherever it was needed. They worked closely with unicorns and absolutely understood oneness. Ask Lemurian and unicorn energy to touch your heart with oneness and see humans worldwide holding hands. So it's really speaking to the fact that you want to keep with this um, general energy of togetherness a lot of people coming together to achieve something great as it said too you know your breath is your life and we all have breath so that's one of the things that connect us and we see that depicted here with the snake rainbow and all of these people so that really highlighted highlight what is the right word it really showed uh, more of what it means by the Ten of Cups, which was how we began and ended your tarot. So that is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that something in this 
really resonated with you. And if it did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel because I drop new videos every single day and I go through every sign at least once a week. And if you want to know more about your specific journey, even if you're just curious as to what disaster you averted, you can book a personal reading with me through the link in the bio. I mean, not the bio. The I mean, it's there too. But the link in the description of this video. And I want to point out that all readings are 20% off for the rest of the year for the holidays. You do not need a coupon code or anything. You can just go on and book. All right, y'all. Peace.